Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani from learn-automation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how we can integrate test project with Jenkins or in simple words, you can say how we can run your test project in CI/CD pipeline. So in this video, we are going to talk about a separate Jenkins plugin, which is available for test project. So I will show you how you can download and use this project, how you can connect your Jenkins instance with test project so that you can run all the test project jobs or the test cases through Jenkins and finally we will also talk about the reporting section so let's see how we can integrate test project with Jenkins or in other words how you can run your test project from CI tools so before we start make sure you have your Jenkins up and running so I will show you my Jenkins which is up and running so this is my Jenkins which is running on 8084 and these are the few jobs which I have created in the past now in case if you don't know how to install Jenkins and how to configure it I will put the link in the description where you can go and download the Jenkins and you can configure it. So let me show you step by step process how you can integrate your test project with Jenkins. Now for test project they have already created a beautiful Jenkins plugin that we need to download and we need to use it. But in, in case if you're using any other CI tool then they have the beautiful API so you can see here if you can just navigate to api.testproject.io doc version 2 they have in all the APIs for test project. So in case if you are using any of the CI tools apart from Jenkins, you can use this direct APIs for your execution. For Jenkins, they have a direct plugin. So I will show you what we need to do. So first step, we need to go ahead and download one plugin called test project. So let's go ahead and click on manage Jenkins and let's search for that particular plugin. So just go to manage plugin and uh, click on available section and guys one important thing which I want to highlight here that uh, in case if you're not getting this option like uh, the moment I go to available section and I will search for one plugin called test project and you can see I'm able to see this particular plugin in case if you're not getting this plugin just make sure you also go to advanced section and you can click on this check now option so it will fetch the latest plugins and the information which is available or available on Jenkins and it will fetch all the information so you can see last updated information is 3 minutes 40 seconds ago and so let's go ahead and uh, search again test project the moment you open this you will find some information about this particular plugin that how you need to use this plugin how you have to capture the IDs everything they have already provided so I'm going to install this plugin and I'm going to click on install without restart. So once this plugin is installed, you can direct start consuming this. Okay, it will take some time and this plugin will be ready for usage. So once it is done, you have to go back to the Jenkins, go to the manage Jenkins and you will navigate to configure system. And under the configure system, you will see one option where you need to provide the API key for your particular test project. Okay, so it is taking some time. So let's wait and uh, let's scroll down further and you will see one option for test project. Yes, you can see API key cannot be empty. So how do we get API key? Just go back to integration part and you can see one key here. So you can see this API key provide access to your test project accounts. So make sure you keep them safe. In case if you need some documentation, just you can go with the documentation part. Right now I'm going to create one API key and this key name I will give as Jenkins key. You can see you can also provide the access like do you want for the project um, access or do you want for the complete project or do you want unrestricted? I'm going to give this key for orange HRM project and I'm going to click on finish and you can see this the moment you click on this this is the Jenkins key I will simply copy this and I will go ahead and use this particular API key that's all we need to do click on save and click on apply so your Jenkins is configured to use test project now what I need to do I need to run particular test from my test project via Jenkins so how do we do that? So let me go back to the home page and you can see this is the project I want to use 
and for this particular project i have multiple tests here so you can see right now i have the jobs i have three jobs configured one test one browser one test three browsers so i can take any project and i can take any job which i want to run so what i will do first of all i need the project id so i want to run this particular project right so i will simply go ahead and copy the id and i will just copy this project id so once i will go back to the project i want to run let's say a particular job or i can also run a particular test so you can see right now i have the copy id i have the copy id for each and every test that we have created so it's up to you do you want to run the particular job or do you want to run the particular test so i'm going to use job but you can take the test cases as well so this is nothing but uh, job id it's very straightforward guys once you have copy pasted the project key you are good to go so i'm going to create a new view this view name i will give as test project uh, scenarios and i'm going to create a list view and within this view i'm going to create a new job this job name i will give as test project and i'm going to take the freestyle project and let's click on okay that's what you need to do the moment you go back to the build section you can see one option here okay let's search for one option called execute test project job and that's what you need to do you need to just provide the project id and the job id so now let's take the project id and let's also take the job id and let's click on save and let's run this particular job the moment you build your project within couple of seconds you will see your build will start let's click on this execution bar and you can see the test is started it completed the test and that's all it executed your test the moment you go back to your particular this job we executed just now right the moment you click on reports you will see the reports as well so you can see just now i executed this test and it got executed directly from here so you can see one more section here that it is executed by ci jenkins build one so with this you can easily identify that who has triggered this particular test scenario so well uh, like when you run your job or when you run your project through jenkins it's quite easy they have a direct plugin in case if you are using some any other ci tool that's what i mentioned you have the list of apis provided by test project which you can use it and if you don't want to navigate to the test project again you can also get the link directly from the jenkins console log which will redirect you to the exactly same report which we have seen just now okay so it's very good feature provided by test project for this jenkins i really like this feature from trust project and this thing you can integrate with your ci cd pipeline as well right so if you like this video share with your friends subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next video have a nice day bye bye